What's the missions? Oh, this might correct me plenty of missions. Get <laughs> 1968 Ford F100 Ranger. Oh yeah, we've got a Ford Ranger here from the year 1968. 1968. What was going on in 1968? Hmm, well, Richard Nixon was elected President of the United States, NASA launched the Apollo 7 under the Apollo program, and Ford was producing this F-100 Ranger pickup truck all in the same 365-day grace period. Oh, what else was going on in 1968? Hey Jude, Mrs. Robinson and Mighty Quinn were born to be wild, honey, so dance to the music and have a stone soul picnic with Lady Madonna at MacArthur Park. I say a little prayer to this magic carpet ride love child brought to you by Summertime Blues, Little Green Apple, Susie Q, and a picture of matchstick men in a white room screaming, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. One, two, three, red light. I've got to get a message to you, Wichita lineman from Indian Lake. The horse that preceded this hurdy-gurdy man in the Valley of the Dolls better tighten up into a money money green tambourine with a sign of Le Temps de Fleurs and do you know what Simon says? Tighten up and don't cry like a baby, you girl watcher, because since you've been gone, for once in my life I reach out of the darkness and hold me tight with a piece of my heart of classical gas and say, hey Western Union man, do you know the way to San Jose? I wonder what she's doing tonight, Eleanor. Yummy, yummy, yummy. La la woman, woman. You can bend me, shape me, because hello, I love you, and I'll never give you up, and I wish it would rain, because you're all I need to get by, Lady Willpower. 1968 Ford F100 Ranger. This American pickup truck has a 5.9 liter V8, which in its day made 215 horsepower and 375 foot-pounds of torque, which is <laughs> bullshit. I'd be surprised if this truck makes 130-ish horsepower today. But I mean, hey, 5.9 liters, that's pretty good replacement for displacement, even though you could get a 390 V8 future project, or you could get a 427 7.0 liter V8. Ugh, just put it in my pickup truck, I'll wreck my pickup truck. No seat belts because screw safety, and ugh, no airbags because what the fuck are those in 1968? Yeah, if, uh, if you get in a wreck with this truck, well, uh, that steering column is going right into your innards. 1968? Ford F-100 Ranger, the official truck for the blue-collar worker who pops open a cold one as soon as he gets off his 9-to-5 day job, and, uh, yeah, he just enjoys it. So this F-100 is in the Ranger trim package, which equates to an insufficient amount of sustenance at the end of your brown day. Look at the climate controls. No air conditioning. The windows are your air conditioning. Crank that shit up, American boy. 1968 Ford F-100 Ranger, the not-quite base model truck brought to you by the name of a baseball team in Surprise, Arizona. Well, surprise, this is a single cab truck, so come sit on my quilted bench seats and cross the red line of my FE360 with protection from weather guard and chrome everywhere. <sighs> Look at me, I'm a ranger. We die like men. We die like real men. So, hey, that uh, 1973 Ford Maverick I just reviewed, the owner of this F100 is the same owner as the Maverick, Kevin. So thanks again, Kevin, for taking the time to film this lone ranger. 1968 Ford F100 Ranger. It's a truck with more flowing testosterone than a worked up baby boomer has when conversations about his choice in utilitarian chariots called trucks enter into his depth of field. Let me tell you about my pickup truck. Uh, bro, did you get your truck nuts yet? Because bro, you know, I, I totally bought mine for my Ford Ranger, bro. Oh. Hold on, truck nuts weren't a thing back in 1968, but who knows, maybe someone had an idea for that at that time. 1968 Ford Ranger Quarter Ton. It's a truck that always brings up the concept of checking yourself before you wreck yourself. Because yeah, this might be a decently sized pickup by modern standards, but remember, this was almost half a century behind in terms of technological and mechanical aesthetics. Like the FE360 V8, for example, making a claim 215 horsepower in its heyday. I'm guessing horsepower has a half-life as well in terms of how much this Ford Edsel V8 makes in its half-century lifespan in this part of the Milky Way. I'll give this power plant some slack, though, because there are other Rangers like this one out that have uh, different engines and probably exist somewhere around the contiguous United States of America with billions of backstories into the inception and deception of these American cowboy bebops. But, uh, good luck finding one, or, well, running at that. But without this truck, the Ford F-Series pickup trucks wouldn't have gone on to become the best-selling vehicle in the United States 
States, which is pretty fucking amazing in its own right. Yeah, GM might be a bigger company than Ford, but the F-Series truck has been the best-selling truck for a while, at least 30 plus years. Um, but anyone that buys this car, well, you're at your own risk there, boy. How's this thing drive? Well, I rode in this car for this review, so uh, yeah, here's some B-roll. Actually, I don't know what that is. It might be part of the ring gear, at least the trans, I'm not sure. Yeah. Hey, the fact that this runs, drives, and it sounds good. Oh, yeah. yeah. under the now that was on the NA versions oh, oh yeah Nineteen sixty-eight Ford F one hundred Ranger, a pickup truck brought to you by American Exceptionalism and Another Automotive Daydream in the Sanctuary of a Jay, sponsored by Metanoia, the journey of changing one's mind, heart, self, or way of life. Because the types of people that drive Ford trucks are just good, honest men who knows his boundaries as a way to cope and deal with this wonderful gift of life. Brought to you by life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness as we ended up in Texas. The end. Yeah. 